Okay, I'm gonna go with them now. Hopefully those are good. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Conscience Games, where consistency and patience create gains. My name is Leia, and today I'm gonna be starting a new segment, which its name may or may not, ignore that, may or may not change. It depends, I'm gonna see, but right now I'm calling this segment Your Mental Matters. And the purpose of this segment is to show the real deal about mental battles, ultimately just like regular things that people go through in life. But I rarely see people documenting the journey because it can be embarrassing. It's very embarrassing, especially when you're at a really low point to put yourself out there like that. Vulnerable, just not at your best on social media is scary. I want to do it for the people who really need to see it because I feel like in these times, I need to see that other people are going through tough sh shit like I am you know I want to have these check-ins maybe like every week or every other um, upload I'm gonna try to have more of these mental matters videos out for you guys your mental matters videos out because it's also a big proponent of conscience gains which is not just physical health fitness going to the gym it's also mental health what you do to restore your to restore yourself what you do to de-stress how you focus on positivity, how you attain your goals. All that stuff is part of conscience gains as well. And I don't wanna lose sight of that. So first I wanna talk about the past few months, how I've been. And ultimately these past few months, I would say since like mid October of last year, kind of like end of October last year to today has been hard. And for a plethora of reasons, the first couple months were hard for me because I was working all the time. I had two jobs. I worked seven days a week and it was really bogging down on me. Okay, at first when I got the two jobs, I didn't really know what I was trying to do. I just knew that I needed to work and to get money up for whatever I was trying to do. Then towards the end of the year, I figured out what I want to do. It was hard for me to find a balance with working two jobs and working towards my dreams and goals and stuff. So I realized one of these two jobs had to go. One of the jobs was significantly paying more, but required more of my time. And I was there for more often than my other job, which doesn't pay horribly, but you know, it wasn't as high as the other one and I wasn't there as long. So after a discussion with God, I decided to drop the higher paying more hours drop i'd saved up a good amount of money what i felt like was a good enough money for me to survive for however long i needed to and i still had this other job so i felt as though it was a good time god was giving me good signs like when i decided when i tried to quit the other one or when i talked to god about quitting the other one which obviously you know like you're gonna want to leave them with less money i felt like it was the complete wrong decision like to leave that job. When I decided, okay, well, should I leave this other one? I got a lot of clarity. I got a lot of support resonance from God telling me, yeah, this is the one that you should leave. So I left, I left that job to pursue what I'm trying to pursue now, which is the new career path that I'm trying to get on. I had already started working towards this career path in late October. I got a certification in November. And I ended up quitting my job maybe two weeks after I got that certification, like still in the realm of going to building up this new job for my new um, career path. When I finally left the job, I was able to get through Christmas. I was able to, I'm not going to lie, this is one of my best Christmases that I've had in my entire life. Why? Because I was able to give so much more than I have ever been able to give in any other Christmases. I got a few gifts here and there. I think I got a gift. I got a gift from my boyfriend. I got a gift from my sister and I got a gift from my cousin who sent a gift. Like I just got it a couple weeks ago, I think. But I only got three gifts, but I didn't care because I was able to give five gifts. And I didn't really even have like any big things that I wanted for Christmas anyway. I was just so happy that I was able to make people smile, that I was able to give and Ultimately, that was my gift for Christmas. It sounds cliche, AF, but 
it ultimately made me super happy with Christmas. I was so happy. If it, it felt good to be able to shop for other people, to be able to, okay, this is, I know this is gonna make this person happy, seeing their reactions. Like it genuinely warmed my heart. That's really when I knew I had a passion for giving. <laughs> like I love to give. I love to be able to show people the love and support that I can through giving, like whatever I can, I just love it. When January came, when the new year started, life started getting harder. My car stopped working um, January 2nd is when I took it to go get looked at for repairs and it just stopped working. I started getting hit with more bills than expected when I first quit my job. I had this to pay for and this to pay for and this to pay for. Along this journey of my opportunity or of my career path, it, it didn't technically require money for certifications but there were certifications that I wanted to get that I didn't really have the funds for because I had to pay for other things, like make sure other things were good. I had to get all new insurance, which ended up costing more than I was paying for last year. A lot of unexpected things happened to where it threw me completely like off, completely off. It hit me like a truck, I would feel like, or that's what I keep saying, like these past few months hit me like a truck because it's just been so much unexpected, unaccounted for instances that have happened when I thought it was the perfect time to quit my job. <laughs> it's definitely been trying. It caused a lot of questioning on my part because I told myself that I needed to back myself into a corner. This corner right here because it's a corner of wall. I needed to back myself into a corner to genuinely achieve the dreams that I want knowing that if I was still at my other high paying job, I probably wouldn't be as motivated to do what I'm doing now, which is continuing to push out YouTube content for you guys, continuing to um, acquire this new career path, continuing to do the things that I do. I would not have been in the same spot because I just know myself. Like it's, it's kind of hard to explain because if I explain it, people would be like, oh, well, this is not, I know myself. Through this, like I said, it's just been a really, really tough time. It's been really, really tough, mainly because I've been focused on negatives. I've been focused on what's not going right, what's not getting here when I want it to be, what's not this and that. Whole time, y'all, I have been afloat. I haven't really hit completely horrible bottom. I'm still doing fine. God still has me in his hands. Everything is still working out. Yeah, things are not going exactly how I want to or exactly how I envision them to go. And that's totally fine. I have to kind of accept that, which is another part of this speech. A big thing that came out of this, though, through this entire journey is conscience gains. Honestly, y'all, I would not have been as pushed to create my business if I was not in this situation. Why? Because when I first started YouTube, I just, I wasn't in it for giving back to others. I just wasn't in it for doing it for others. I was in YouTube for me because I always wanted to do YouTube. And I just was like, okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get popular. Like how these other girls get popular, just putting their personality out there. Ultimately, I've been, in these past couple months as well, I've been learning a lot about business, about success, about ultimately just how you give, you have to give to get ultimately like that's, that's that's all it is you have to give something to get something and i had to go through this because it changed my mindset about youtube about the kind of image that i want to put out there for myself about the kind of videos and content that i'm putting out like this stuff sticks like everything on the internet is it sticks which is one reason why i hadn't removed any of the old youtube videos that i put out everything is still there because this is that was still me i don't want to i don't want to remove anything and then somebody find it thinking that they got something on me but you really didn't because i already kept it out there because i mean it is what it is like this was youtube videos that i was comfortable putting out now that i've changed my platform and my image of what this youtube video i mean what this youtube channel is purposes is that doesn't take away from everything that i was doing at first like if i feel like i need to remove the videos for whatever reason maybe i will maybe i won't that'll be my decision but as of right now, I would like to keep the videos that I have on my channel because I don't think that they're all bad. And I think it's also kind of beautiful that it shows that like, you don't just start with something like, you go through different stages and different things that ultimately cause changes and transitions in your life. 
and it shouldn't be something that you're ashamed of, something that you're trying to hide. Because at the end of the day, that was you. That was something that you were trying to work towards. So through that, my channel has grown significantly, significantly. So on August 4th, 2022, I uploaded my first YouTube video. June 25th, 2023 is when I first hit 100 subscribers. So it took me almost a year, a little bit less, like 10 months to hit 100 subscribers. Since then, it's now March 3rd, 2024, and I'm at 343 subscribers. Is that it took me 10 months to hit my first 100, and it's just been shooting up since. My channel has been growing significantly. I have a video right now at, I think, 33K views. 33K views, my stretching video. I have another video at 1K views, my social detox video. I have been receiving so much love for my YouTube um, videos. I've been receiving a lot of recognition, a lot more recognition for my YouTube videos. People saying that they really appreciate the fact that I'm putting videos out, these workout videos that people have been saying that they've been using. And honestly, it warms my heart so much. And I'm so appreciative of everybody who watches my videos. Even if you watch them for a split second, I'm still appreciative that you even felt the need to tap onto it. I'm appreciative of everybody who comments. I'm appreciative of everybody who shares. I'm appreciative of everybody who likes, who subscribes, who stays and watches the entire video. I'm so appreciative of everybody because this is honestly what I wanted to do. Not necessarily for my entire life. Like, I don't really know. This may or may not be a career. We don't, I don't know, we'll see. This is definitely something that I've always wanted to be a part of. I always wanted to be a part of the YouTube community, helping people feel good about themselves because that's what YouTube did for me. It helped me feel good. So thank you so much, so much, so much, so much for the growth on my YouTube channel. Without you guys, it wouldn't be anything. So I love my supporters. This dream that I had a couple nights ago and it was very interesting. I hope the glare on my glasses is not like throwing you off. I just feel like I like filming with my glasses on. I feel like the light be playing with me a little bit. I had a dream um, a couple of nights ago and ultimately in the dream, I was trying to, it was me and some people and we were going up some stairs. And a lot of people don't really know this about me, but I kind of have a slight fear of heights. Why having a fear of heights is having a fear of no control. And that's definitely me. And I'm working on it. I swear I'm working on y'all. But I do have a fear of heights. In this dream, we were walking upstairs. And for some reason, the stairs went super duper high to go to get somewhere. I want to say we were going to class. I was going up the stairs like everything was fine. But then I kind of realized like how high I was. Like, I was just going at first and I looked down and I was like, oh my God, I'm like super duper high. So my anxiety starts kicking in. I'm starting to get super duper anxious. I'm starting to get nervous. And this causes like, everything to shift. Like the stairs start moving in this weird way. Like they start like opening up and it becomes like from a regular one, two step to like, I'm having to climb and fight my way up the rest of the way. <laughs> and at first when I realized how hard it was to go up, I decided I was gonna go down. I was like, I'm not doing this. Like I'd rather go back to the easy part. I'd rather go back to, you know, when the stairs was just regular stairs and not a jungle gym. And when I was trying to go down, it was way harder to go down. It was way more difficult for me to turn around and to go back uh, down the stairs. People were starting to come up the stairs. So if I was to go down, or, like even make it down, I would get trampled by the boatloads of people who were coming up the stairs. So I had no choice but to fight my way up to the top. And when I woke up the next morning, I realize the significance of this dream in my life so as i said right now i'm going through a big transitional phase where i'm trying to elevate myself i'm having to go through this big growth it's not impossible but it's so difficult y'all i've never been so uncomfortable in growth like so it's so uncomfortable and people say this all the time like it's new things you're going to experience a new life you're going to be a new person hashtag matrimony you all know that part it's scary it's scary because it's uncomfortable, because it's something new, because you've never seen it. And I wish that that wasn't my view of it, like for me to just be scared because it's something new and stuff like that. I can conquer anything I have to go on. But when you get those thoughts of, well, you're probably gonna fail, you're probably not gonna make it, this is, this is not, you know, like just those doubtful hindering thoughts that sometimes paralyze me 
from even moving towards my dreams. Like there were, there have been a couple days where it's been hard for me to get out of the bed because I feel like, what's the point? Like literally, what am I working towards? What is it? What am I doing? What's going on? Like, I just like I said, looking at all the negatives and stuff, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything with my life. I feel like a huge mess up. I feel like I just made horrible decisions. I've fallen down that rabbit hole for these past couple weeks. It's been so hard for me to find any type of positivity in my life because I feel like I'm not where I need to be. And like I said, it's uncomfortable. But one thing that I really realized yesterday is that just because you're uncomfortable in your situation doesn't mean that you can't accept it. You have to accept the uncomfortableness. You have to accept it of what it is. I knew what it was when I decided that I'm gonna back myself into a corner and force myself to grow. I did not realize how hard it was going to be to grow. This is not for the birds. And I can see why a lot of people get stuck in this the same cycles that they go into, get stuck doing the same jobs um, for the rest of their lives, all these things, because growth is so uncomfortable. It's so uncomfortable. It causes you to question a lot about yourself and a lot about your strengths, your weaknesses, who you are as a person, at least for me, uh, it caused me not necessarily like negatively questioning myself, but just of like, you know you're strong, so why are you not being strong? You know things are gonna be okay, so why are you freaking out about everything not being okay right now? Like, why are you having these certain things? And like I said, it paralyzed me at some points um, from moving, but ultimately I break out of it every time. I work and push through for it every time. I remember in January, I felt like, what is life? And now I'm here in March, a little bit more toes down, a little bit more on the ground of what I need to do to push forward and moving. And the hardest thing about it is doing. The hardest thing about anything in life is doing it. So I finally accepted the situation that I'm in. I thank God for everything that I've gone through because it's necessary. And although it's hard and it's painful now and it's scary. And at one point, I don't wanna say I turned on God because I knew not to turn on God. I knew that this wasn't an act of hate or ill will on me. I knew that this was an act of figuring it out. And I'll get more into depths of like how hard it was and the things that I went to went through when I'm out of this situation because ultimately if I tell y'all what's going on right now, it might not look that great, I guess. And I know I said like being more vulnerable with you guys and stuff like that, but like I said, like I can only be vulnerable with you guys about so much because some of this is also affecting my family and I'm not about to put my family on blast. But when things are better, I'll be more willing to put my family on blast because we won't be in this space no more will be definitely in a different space so um like i said like my current journey with god and also with journaling y'all um i feel like i don't really talk a lot about journaling on my channel but it's one of the biggest saving graces that i have this is my journal for this year i have a journal from last year over there um but this is my journal for this year and i've already i've been journaling so not right there but i've been journaling so much y'all through this tough time of everything. Like there's good in here, there's bad in here, there's plans in here, there's, you know, like just my thoughts, my feelings, my vulnerabilities, my dreams. I think I talked about this dream that I told y'all about in here. Like journaling is my safe space. I never really understood how much ease and stress relief can come out of journaling until really this situation. Like I knew I love to journal. I knew I love to, get my ideas out on paper and stuff and i think that also the beautiful thing about journaling is that it, i could start off rough it could start off like okay this and that is happening in my life but immediately my brain wants to switch to keep it positive keep it you know okay these yeah this is going on and stuff but this is what could come out of it this is what you learn through the whole process this is how you've grown through the whole process this is what you need to focus on through this entire process and Journaling just helps keep like switch up whatever sad mood I'm in to just positivity. It helps. It helps change my perspective of what's going on in the situation and helps keep me moving. I used to only journal at night. Now sometimes I'll wake up and journal. Sometimes I'll just finish eating and come back and journal. Like it's honestly my saving grace. I might journal one or two times a day. Aside from only once a day, I might journal a couple times a day. My current relationship with God is good, positive, grateful, thankful, appreciative. Like. 
even in these tough times, I think it's really funny how when we get into these tough times, we look at God like, why me? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Or is it the devil? The devil's doing this to me. God, protect me, save me from this and that and that and this. Ultimately, is God <laughs> putting these things on you? Like, Leah, let's see if you really about what you about. Like, let's see how strong your faith is with me and within yourself. And let's see how bad you really want it. I thank God for these tough times. Funny story, I have been applying to jobs. And I think it's funny because, you know, God is a jokester. He's a funny man. I asked God for a miracle after I had applied to like so many different jobs and like just begging God to give me something. And I asked God for a miracle. And I got an email from the job that I really wanted. And I didn't get the job. Like literally, probably five to 10 minutes after I asked God for a miracle, I get that email. And I cried. I didn't cry hard, but tears fell. because I was like, damn, like this is not what I was expecting. And it's so funny how you always get what you don't expect, whether it's good or bad. You're always getting what you don't expect. And if you're expecting it, sometimes you might not get it because you're expecting it. I feel like God likes to be, God likes to surprise. I love surprises, but it's like, some of these surprises be a little like, okay, chill on me, please. <laughs> please give me mercy. But no, um, my current journey with God, I'm still faithful to him, I'm still relying on him. There was a time where a couple days ago, it was kind of hard for me to keep my faith because it kind of just felt like, what the fuck? Like, what, what, why? Like, you know, like, why is this so hard, you know? Trans to transition out of that, how I stay going. Um, I stay going ultimately through God and journaling. I stay talking to God. I stay thanking God for every little minor blessing that I get, whether if it's somebody taking me to work, whether if it's eating, whether if it's you know, having the little bit of money that I have in my account, whether it's literally anything, y'all, I thank God for it all. I've never been more appreciative of the little things until now, and I really do hope that I can stay appreciative of the little things when I start getting the things that I'm supposed to get. Like, I don't want to forget this time and all these lessons that I've learned in this instance for when I do reach the part that I'm trying to reach and get into the career path that I'm trying to get into. I don't want to forget this time that I'm going through right now because it's so important in my life story and I will be speaking about it when I get to a specific point in my life. Another way that I stay going, like I said, is attempting attempting positivity and I'm always grateful, but attempting positivity can be really, really difficult because the negatives are so easy to see. It's so easy to see what's not right and what's not going on. But I also want it to be easy to see of what is right. Like I'm trying to condition my mind to focus on what is going well, what is not as bad as I'm trying to make it seem, you know, like just being appreciative. Like for instance, the fact that I don't have my car, like I feel like I'm very positive with it right now. I know that something will soon come. The only thing that I'm really like, that's killing me is I just don't have as much money as I did. That's just the hardest thing for me right now. Cause like I said, I like to give, I like to do things. And even though there's other ways of giving outside of money, which I think might be another lesson that God's trying to teach me, is that you can give even when you don't have any money. You can still give, give love, give hope, give positivity to people around you. Remembering my reasons is another way that I stay on top of myself, like how I keep going. Remembering my reasons as to why I'm in these situations. You're in a situation to grow, you're in a situation to learn, you did it to yourself. That God got you. Like, don't. Every, every little situation that you've been in that seemed like what the F is honestly just testing you to see exactly like how how real you are about what you're trying to do. Like ultimately, are you really just trying to do what you're trying to do or are you just saying it because it looks good with somebody else? Like I think my career path that I'm really trying to get into is something that I definitely want to do because I have a plan and I have a plan as to how things are going to go, the things I have to do and the steps that I have to take in order to get where I'm trying to go for my entire life so I can be set for life and not have to be in these situations again. So, and a big, 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 big part of my life is having these super supportive group of people around me. Oh my God. I honestly, like, kind of throws me back to my, when I lost my mom. Not to get sad, but I can feel my eyes watering. Um. <laughs> Big, big, big group of supportive people, man. Like, if I could shout some of them out, like my boyfriend, super duper supportive. Like, 
super duper understanding, super duper loving, even though I'm going through these tough times, like he doesn't look down on me in any type of way. Even though I'll be looking down on me sometimes, like, why are you even still around me? Like, I'm not even on my ish like I need to be, even though I, I'm still working towards my ish. I just don't feel like the full me. He doesn't care. He still speaks positivity into me. He still speaks support into me. Um, my friends, Gabby, has been a super duper, super duper great help and support in my life, especially in these tough times. Uh, Deja has definitely helped me so much. Like we are just starting to get close for real. And I'm so appreciative of her because she spoke so many different viewpoints into my life that I didn't even really see. My brother and my sister, they're really trying their hardest to keep me going. It can be definitely sometimes where I'm pushing them away, but my brother and my sister, Bailey and Byron, are definitely helping me out in this tough time. And I definitely so much appreciate them, my dad is doing what he can. Like we're all in this as a family going through a really kind of crazy tough time as a family. All at the same time is very interesting, but we're doing what we can to keep each other up, lifted and supporting each other in our in each of our own endeavors. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry, but I promise if you're doing something and you're helping me, my coworkers at work, <sighs> these people like it's just an overwhelming amount of support that I I'm so thankful to God for it. I thank God for it every day because like, I don't even know where I would be if I didn't have these people in my life. And it's funny because God blessed me with this. He really did bless me in these, in these, as, dang, in these instances, he, like he really has been. And I am so appreciative. I feel like this video is kind of long, but I'm sorry if it is. Hopefully you guys are tuned in. Um, I know my videos lately have not been this long. So it kind of has me feeling a little off, but it's definitely like all this stuff had to be said, man. Um, I just have a couple questions that you guys, I want you guys to answer them down below in the comments so that I can just kind of have these discussions with you guys and like, let me know also if you're relating to anything that I'm saying, if anything kind of hit a pinpoint for you, please let me know down in the comments. But one thing I wanted to ask was how do you guys practice positivity? Uh, what do you do to keep yourself going? Like, how do you focus on the good? What do you do to ixnay the negative? How do you... Another question I have is what do you do to de-stress? Like when you're going through hard times when you feel like everything is bogged down and you like, what do you do? Personally, me, I used to smoke. Like when things were just like really, really tough for me, I used to smoke, but I was definitely getting high a lot more often than I realized. Not really realizing how hard life was like on me at the time. But like now in this time, I've definitely cut back hecka. I think I said it in my last video, not the last video, but like my in my transition video, like it doesn't really serve me as much anymore. I am trying to learn and develop new things, like make new brand connections in my head. And I can't do that when I'm not completely here. I can't do that when I'm high. I can't make those connections. I can't learn as much. I can't obtain as much. I can't grasp as much when I'm high. And ultimately I had to let that go, which is why most of y'all haven't really been seeing it. Um, it's not like I don't smoke at all. I still smoke sometimes, just not as often. I've been going like a couple days without doing it and then like I might go do it. But like, it's not a big focus for me right now. I'm focused on way more stuff. I don't really know if I'll circle back to it. We'll see how life, what life wants for me. Some words of affirmation. I want to end this video out on a positive note. Um, just kind of like reiterating, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. It's just not clear yet. And this also, I'm talking to me, to myself as well. Everything happens for a reason. And sometimes the reasons become clear within the next couple seconds. Sometimes the reasons become clear within the next few days. Sometimes the reasons don't become clear into a, a couple months to a year. That's just the reality of it. Like you just gotta, gotta go through stuff. And that's what I'm saying. Like I have to accept what I'm in right now. Because that acceptance, if you're not accepting it, then you're you're pushing it away. And you're making your life harder by not accepting what you have going on, by being so hell-bent on where you want to be or where you were. If you're not focused on what's going on now, then you're, you're just never going to be at peace. What I'm learning, at least. So now that I've accepted, like, okay, this is where I'm at and this is what I need to do, I'm so much more at peace right now. It, at least, like, I just accepted stuff, like, last night. So, like, right now, in this time that I'm talking to y'all, I do feel a little bit more at peace. Looking back, like, when you go, when in a year from now, when you're looking back at this time in your life, you're going to be so appreciative of what you went through. You're going to be so appreciative that you stuck through this journey, that you didn't give up. You're going to be so appreciative of these tough times, of these, um, of, you know, all this stuff that you went through. It's going to be, 
you're gonna be very thankful. Cause you're gonna be like, dang, like I really made it through. You know what I'm saying? Like I really fought through, pushed through, felt like everything was finna end. And I felt like I was at the lowest point of my life and you made it through. And then, like I said, embrace the present, be joyful in this time. Um, be joyful in the fact that you still have things going. Like there are things going. If you're working towards something, you're still working. Even if it's not like you're getting paid right now, you're working and the pay is coming. The pay you're, get, you're, you're getting paid in, in knowledge and lessons and in experience and in skills that you needed to be paid these big bucks that you're going for. Definitely be joyful in this time and just keep going. Like a lot of people say, don't quit. I've put myself in a position where I can't quit. Like it's just not an option. I, I'd quit so that I couldn't quit this. <laughs> I quit my other job so I couldn't quit this. Like I, I just knew I just needed to be backed into a corner. I keep telling myself I just need to back myself into a corner to survive. It's either survive, what is it? Fight or flight. And I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter. You're a fighter, You're not a flighter. You're a fighter. Stay down and whatever you're doing and just kind of get lost in the journey. Like that's what I did when I was on my weight loss journey. I didn't do it for the results. I knew it was gonna take time, but I just did it because I just wanted to be a part of the journey. I'm doing YouTube. I didn't really focus on the results. I just, I knew it was gonna take time. So that's when I did it. With what I'm doing now, I didn't really have the same approach. I probably should have, but it's fine. Cause I'm here now. And um, just stay down, man. Don't quit, don't give up. What you're working for, if it's really what you want, it's gonna come. If it's really what you want, it's gonna come. You just have to give it some time. You just have to have patience and consistency to create those gains. Hope you guys really enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for sticking through. If you watched all the way to the video, to the end of the video, like I said, I'd love to see your responses to the questions down below. Let me know how you felt about your mental matters, about this little segment. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this because I really didn't, I really missed having sit down videos with you guys. So like I said, thank you guys so, so, so much for all the support, all the love, all this, everything y'all, just everything. I'm just so 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 appreciative and i'll see you guys in the next one bye y'all